Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and I'm standing outside the restaurant I bought a couple months ago, give you an update on what we're doing with it right now. I um, haven't done a whole lot of work just because it's a brand new thing to us, never done a restaurant before, but we are slowly making progress. I can kind of show you. They are starting to build the apartments across the street that I talked about before, massive project there. And then on the other corner down that way, they're starting to build the massive apartments down there. So this is an extremely busy road, great location for retail. It's just a matter of what we do in this building since uh, it's tiny and yeah, we have a lot of work to do. But um, it's, it is funny because every time we come in here, there's probably two or three people that stop by. Still trying to get burritos from the last place that was in here. So um, you can see, we tore out all the floors, kind of got rid of the old tables and stuff. And we do have the new heating system in and we tore out the drop ceiling. So you can see where the white brick is. That's the bottom of that where, is where the ceiling was before. And it just felt so much better just to remove that. And there's another ceiling above there. This side, you can see it's even a little higher. And this was an addition at some time. And I think we can actually take this wall out too and make it a little bigger if we wanted to. But we'd still love to have a restaurant in here. There's a hot dog place that wants it. We just have to verify with the city, the health department, we can still do a restaurant. We're not gonna be violating any codes or anything like that because this building is so cramped and everything's so tight. Uh, we have a bid to replace all the windows. I think it's like 2,800. All this wood trim here, a lot of it's rotten. So getting new glass, new windows, just a lot easier than cleaning them up. And quite a few of them are broken like that one, as you can see. And the other thing we're contemplating is possibly opening up this wall or putting a doorway in it and finishing off the patio area, which I'll show you here too. So that's where the old heater was. It just had a space heater. That was it. Now we have a nice heater and air conditioner on the roof. So that's taken care of. Step one of a hundred on this property. Uh, back here, that's kind of where that wall, as I said, we could take out so we could have a little bit more space there if we needed to. And this property I bought with the kitchen equipment in it. I have a video I did that explains much more detail, the numbers and everything, but we bought it for 115000 from the MLS. A really amazing deal for commercial. And uh, that was one of the times where I saw an opportunity, bought it without really knowing what to do with it or what our plan was. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. Another step we have to do is get our electrician in here. Our electricians have just been incredibly backed up or non-responsive. So we need to get our electrician in and make sure we don't have to do like an entire rewire, which we might based on how that panel looks. Um, tiny bathroom, something else we have to talk about with the health department, you know, how big the bathroom has to be, your access to it, because right now, your access for the restaurant is through this weird patio area. And a lot of this stuff could have been grandfathered in for the last restaurant where they allowed it to happen because it had been in existence for 40 years and they don't make you do everything up to current code. But when you have a new owner, a new business, then they'll be like, oh, guess what? You have to bring a lot of this up to code now. So here's the patio area. And I thought about, hey, we could leave it a cool patio, open it up. The thing is, this road is so loud and so noisy. It's great for traffic, but it's not great for noise. I don't know how pleasant it would be out here, you know, not being able to talk to anybody because it's so loud. So another thing we're thinking about is finishing it off, you know, adding insulation, walls, making this more eating space and just having a door, something coming through here to access this space. Then you'd have a better route to the bathroom because before people had to go out of the restaurant and in through this little door right here to go to that tiny little bathroom. Not ideal. Don't even know if they'll let us do that. Here you can see the new furnace, all that stuff we put in. So a lot of things to think about. 
we've talked to the health department once and they kind of told us, hey, get get a restaurant in there and we'll tell you what you have to do. But that doesn't work very well if they say you have to rebuild the whole property or it's too small. So we need to really pester them and get them to meet us out here or talk to us and let us know what we have to do. Whether, I mean, there's always a chance we don't put a restaurant in here too. We do something else. But we should probably figure that out pretty soon. Had it for a little while, but again, it's very cheap, great deal. So sitting on it for a little bit isn't the end of the world, especially since we have, you know, 16 other fix and flips going on that are taking some resources. So that's the property. That's the update. As you can see, things are moving along with the construction properties across the street, which was awesome for us and the value of this property. We've got it demoed a little bit, making some progress. Now we just really have to figure out what the end use will be and what the next steps are. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any brilliant ideas on what to do here, let us know. We'd love to hear them. Uh, if you like the video, we always appreciate the thumbs up. And we'll have some more coming up for you soon. Thanks for watching.